I'm Michael. And I'm Francisco. And this is Fillmore News. Robotics is really gaining in popularity. Many teachers feel that robotics just may be the most perfect instructional approach currently available. It offers classroom activities that teach high-value STEM content, as well as opportunities to powerfully address ELA Common Core standards. And in fact, there are connections to robotics across the full spectrum of the curriculum. Robotics is also a highly effective way to foster essential work skills like collaboration, problem solving, and project management. It does all this while keeping kids so motivated and engaged that getting them to stop working and move on to the rest of the day can be a challenge. A good problem to have. And now, here's David with the weather. Hi, I'm David, and this is the weather. Tuesday will be 70 degrees, Wednesday will be 76 degrees, Thursday will be 70, 76 degrees, Friday will be 70 degrees with a 60% chance of rain. Last week we celebrated End the R Word. People made pledges and bought t-shirts. Let's remember to show respect every day and end the R Word forever. You too. Congratulations, uh, by the way. Thank you. How do you feel about the soccer game? It was amazing. Amazing. The team played as a team. The passes were awesome. Um, and the way those boys and you took the bat, bat ball away from the other side, like those the footwork, it was amazing. I've never seen you guys play as awesome as that night. And um, it was very exciting. Every time you were close to the net, all of us in our row, we stood up and said, go, kick it, kick it. And it was just like, oh my God, it was worse than basketball. Because when basketball, you know, when the scores are so close, it's so intense. And that night, it was intense. All the kids came. I mean, the parents, we were all there cheering for you. You were so tired, but so happy. I saw tears in your eyes. I mean, I teared up. And uh, we are so, so proud of the soccer team. Really proud. All right, thank you for your time. You're welcome. It's my favorite period of the day, lunchtime. Except sometimes you have to wait forever in line. The staff are working hard to keep things moving. They want to hear any ideas the flashes may have to make it better. How do you feel about the lunch line? Um, it's too long and to be waiting under the sun and then the kids smell. <laughs> can I hear Ms. Debs? Hello, Ms. Debs. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Um, how can we improve this lunch line situation? Well, that's something that we've been looking at for the past several months. You know, last year um, they took the outside hamburger line and we weren't allowed to have it outside anymore, so it's inside. So it's made the cafeteria a little more congested. So we've been looking at different options. The district office was trying to write some grants to get like a kiosk outside to be able to serve outside again, but that grant didn't get approved. So we're looking into other options. But in addition to that, the Safe and Civil Schools Committee has been monitoring the, the lunch lines. We're doing it this week. And we're finding that for the most part, by 12.35, everybody has their lunch. So within 15 minutes, they're able to serve, you know. More organized and flows a little more efficiently, um, looking at, uh, some other possibilities in terms of what we can do if we can get another uh, terminal. So there's two, so that it might go a little quicker. Um, how the senior lunch line is working. So we're looking at a variety of factors to help speed it up even more. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Another thing that we're looking at uh, is how to make the flow of the whole cafeteria go smoother. Are there any ideas you can give us to make uh, it better? like another exit or like just having a food day. 
a food day that would yeah. have like what? Kind Subway, of food? like healthy food. You know? Oh, okay. I can bring that up to the cafeteria, ladies. What I was thinking, and another student thought of, by the way, was to have where the hot lunch line is. Those two ex, those two entrances. One for the cafeteria and one for the hamburger line, and then the exit at that far end. So two lines coming in where I'm at, and then exit out where the hamburger line normally comes in. And have that as the main exit for everybody. I'm thinking something like that might be good. Yeah. But you guys have to you know, inform us too. You guys have some ideas that we probably haven't even thought of. Okay. But we're doing everything we can to make it smoother and better food for you guys so just keep us in touch keep in touch with us okay thank you for your time thank you that's it for this week flashes stay flashy Fillmore. more that's it for this week flashes i had to burp i'm sorry <laughs> wow.